Hi, <coughs> my name is Lamorna and I'm, I've just finished my first year studying history at Downing and I am going to give you a short virtual tour of Downing. Uh, so first things first, this is obviously an aerial view of Downing. As Catriona has said, um, we were founded in 1800. Um, we were the 17th college to be founded and we're sometimes called the oldest of the new colleges or the newest of the old colleges uh, because we were built somewhere between the medieval ones and the more modern ones. Uh, we take 120 students a year and one of the questions in the Q&A was about our ratio of arts and humanities students and um, as I said that uh, aims to be around 50-50. I mean Obviously, I do history um, and I know lots of humanities students at Downing. Um, we have 450 undergraduates in total and uh, they're all based at Downing because all of our accommodation is on site. As you can see from the picture, uh, we have quite a lot of green space, which we're very lucky to have. We have 20 acres of land. Um, lots of trees, uh, we have the paddock which is at the bottom of the screen and uh, all of this feels very tranquil even though we are pretty centrally located. Uh, we're on a street with quite a lot of restaurants and shops and Sainsbury's is pretty close which is very handy. Um, we get slightly less tourists than uh, some of the more well-known colleges um, but we do have a few looking around and we are open to the public. So, if you were to come into Downing, the first thing you would see is Porter's Lodge. Um, this is open and staffed 24 seven, and the porters are there, they're all first aid trained, um, they're responsible for college security, and they also take care of your mail. So, uh, Downing students will have pigeonholes um, that you probably share with one other person, and that's where your mail goes. Um, so if you're looking for some mail, then the porters will help you out. Um, as it says on the screen, they are very happy to help um, and they're always up for a friendly chat. Uh, they're also there to help with accommodation related issues, um, things like getting locked out of your room, um, which I've done many times. Um, and they also lock the gates of Downing at 8.30pm and that doesn't mean that you can't come after that, um, but it just means that the public can't. And um, we have university cards, which we call CAM cards, and uh, basically you just swipe that and the gates will open. So the next thing is the Maitland Robinson Library. View uh, is very modern. Uh, it's open 24 seven. Uh, it's the same as with the gates. So you swipe your CAM card to get in and it has a variety of study spaces. So uh, we have booths you can work in um, if you don't want to be distracted by seeing other people um, or long tables if you like working around other people. And we have librarians on weekdays who can help you if you're looking for something. And I think the important thing to say is that we have uh, copies of all the core or required texts um, for all the subjects. But if um, Downing Library doesn't have what you need, then there are many more libraries across the university. Apparently there are 148 more. And uh, one of those is the University Library. So that is located on the Citric site, which is uh, the Arts and Humanities site. And that's about a 20, 25 minute walk from Downing um, or a five or 10 minute cycle. And Basically, the University Library is a copyright library, which means that they have copies of every book published in the UK. Uh, so they have pretty much anything you could need. And as well as with Downing, they have librarians, people on hand to help you uh, look for something specific. Um, and again, there's also faculty libraries. And within Downing, there's also a computer room. Um, so if you ever need to print anything or you need to use a computer for a reason your laptop breaks or something like that um, then that's there. So next is the chapel. So uh, we have a C of E chapel 
I think it was uh, built in the 1950s and um, it has services throughout the week. So Evensong happens on a Sunday evening and Compline happens twice a term. Um, and Compline is basically just evening prayer. And um, Compline is fairly popular because um, afterwards Keith gives us free hot chocolate and marshmallows. And I think the important thing to say is that the chapel is CRV, but it's also a, a multi-faith space and um, even people who aren't religious um, like going to services because um, it's very atmospheric and it's quite a nice time for quiet reflection. Um, so Keith is our chaplain and he um, is part of the pastoral support network. He's very approachable and friendly and um, he's there for any kind of concerns you might have. Um, the other elements of pastoral support are, everybody has a tutor. So um, your tutor uh, meets you at the start and end of each term. Um, and you just have a 10 minute discussion about how things are going, how the academic side of things is going, how the pastoral side of things is going. Um, and we have a college nurse on site. And we also have a physio, if you have any uh, physical injuries, and the university counselling service as well. Now, I think one of the best things about Downing is Keith's Cafe. So um, Keith runs a, um, he provides free donuts and tea and coffee on the steps of the chapel every Thursday at 3.30. Um, and quite a lot of people go, it's quite sociable, um, the picture in the middle at the top is Keith's Cafe and people like to use it as a break from work, it's a uh, very good procrastination um, and sometimes we have um, international Keith's Cafe, so the international offices on our JCR, which is our junior common room, um, but basically they're elected uh, every year by the students and um, they sometimes bring um, food from lots of different cultures to Keith's Cafe instead of the usual donuts. Um, so one of the places I probably spend most time is Butterfield Cafe. So uh, this is a cafe that's open to the public uh, every day apart from Sunday. It serves food and hot and cold drinks and uh, it's somewhere where you can meet friends for coffee or for lunch, um, you can bring guests in um, and sometimes societies hold meetings in there um, and I like to work in there. Uh, sometimes I find that the library is a bit too quiet, I like a bit of background noise um, so I spend a lot of time there. And then in the evening, it turns into Downing Bar. So it's a student run bar and it's open every night of the week. Um, and the bar are quite often hosts events. So Monday evening is the pub quiz where you pay a pound and you do a quiz. Um, and if you win, then you, you get the money. Uh, there are also live music events quite often. So uh, bands from other colleges, uh, also Downing Jazz Band performs about once a term and is very popular. Um, and then downstairs is our junior common room. So that's a space um, that has sofas and darts, a pool table, um, table football, things like that. And um, that's just a place for socialising really. Um, we like going in the evenings the bar upstairs has board games, um, so you can do that, just hang out with your friends, relax. Um, so that's that. The next thing is the Howard Theatre. So Downing is very lucky to have its own theatre. It was opened in February 2010, so it's very modern. Um, it has um, lighting and staging equipment for performances and it has capacity of 160. So if you are interested in theatre then you can get involved uh, through student performances 
um, either at a university level or at Downing. So at Downing, there's the freshers play every Lent term and Lent is our second term. Um, so it's directed by a fresher, um, acted in by freshers, all of the lighting and staging is done by freshers, all of the publicity. And this year it was The Low Depths by Maxine Gorky. Um, but the director chooses the play, so it, it changes every year. And even if you're not um, particularly theatrical, then um, obviously you can come and watch performances, um, which I like to do. And the other thing to say is that there are music practice rooms if you um, play an instrument and you want to carry on with that. Next is the Human Gallery. Um, so this is um, a modern and contemporary art gallery that is um, located just by the Porter's Lodge. Um, it's open to the public five days a week and it has various exhibitions throughout the year. Since I've been at Downing, they had a Yoko Ono exhibition. Um, they also had a Barbara Hepworth exhibition and we have a Barbara Hepworth statue uh, permanently just uh, on the grass outside the Heon Gallery. Um, they also sometimes run events. There was a feminist um, plate painting workshop um, to celebrate International Women's Day um, and they also run a student competition. Um, so next is the paddock. Um, this is, as I said, the space at the bottom of Downing, um, so beyond what we call the quad or the main court, um, which is where the chapel is. This is a big open green space um, and you are allowed on the grass, um, whereas in the quad you're not allowed on the grass um, to keep it neat and tidy. Um, so people use it for um, sports, uh, for sunbathing, for picnics in summer, and um, tables and chairs are bought out. Um, and people play frisbee or um, sports teams practice like um, lacrosse or football. Um, but we do have our own sports pitches that are about a 10 or 15 minute walk away. Um, and just at the bottom of the paddock, we also have tennis courts. Um, and you can book those out. Um, they also kind of double up as netball courts too. Um, and I play netball at Downing, so we have matches there most weekends. Uh, we also have our own gym, uh, which is very good value for money. Um, it's At the moment, it's around £30 a year, I think, plus £15 for induction. And of course, Downing, is famous well Cambridge is famous for rowing um, so we have our own boathouse which is about a 20 minute walk away or a 10 minute cycle but most rowers tend to cycle because they have to get up very early um, and yeah that's about it for that um, so moving on to the dining hall um, the dining hall serves three meals a day um, on weekdays and the weekends there is brunch and dinner and brunch at Downing is pretty popular and I think it's very nice. Um, we have a variety of options um, including vegetarian and vegan options and generally um, the catering team can cater for any dietary requirements you might have. Um, so you pay per item which means that um, all of the items are individually priced and then you get charged um, for this at the end of term with your college bill. Um, however, not everyone eats in the dining hall. Um, there are self-catering facilities. Um, everyone has access to a kitchen if they'd rather do that. Uh, an iconic part of Studying at Cambridge is going to formals, although um, of course they're not obligatory, you don't have to go. Um, but basically it's a three course dinner um, that's generally under £20. Um, you dress up in formal clothes, you wear a gown, it's candlelit, um, it's very atmospheric um, and they happen three times a week. So 
at Downing it's Wednesday, Friday and Sunday but at other colleges they have them more or less frequently, sometimes once a week, sometimes every day. Um, and we have some special formals, so things like Halloween, everybody dresses up, it's the only form you don't have to wear a gown. There's also Bridgemas, um, which you can see in the picture on the right. So because most students aren't at Downing over Christmas, then we celebrate it on the 25th of November instead. And we have a formal dinner. Um, as you can see, there's a big Christmas tree that goes up. Um, people wear Christmas hats, things like that. Um, and also one of the things you can do is go to formal to celebrate people's birthdays, uh, which I did for my birthday this year. The final thing to talk about is accommodation. So the rooms at Downing are single occupancy, uh, around half of them are en suite, although the majority of first year accommodation is en suite. Um, the rent ranges between around £131 and £193 a week. Um, it's also worth mentioning that um, some of the leases are quite short because our terms are only eight weeks. Um, so, for example, my lease this year was 30 weeks, um, so you're paying for your accommodation for a relatively short period of time. Um, if you uh, choose to go for a lower rent band, then generally that means a slightly smaller room, um, a shared bathroom. But a shared bathroom is generally only between about three or four people. Um, and in my opinion, all of the accommodation is uh, pretty high standard. Um, so I think I've mentioned this already, but one of the really great things about Downing is that all of the accommodation is on site. Um, so that means that um, people are accommodated in the main quad by the chapel. Um, we own a row of houses on Letsfield Road, which is at the bottom of the paddock and there are separate first year accommodation buildings. Um, but they're all very close together. Um, it takes you about five minutes wherever you are in college um, to get to the library, the dining hall, the bar, uh, which is very useful. And I think it creates a feeling of community um, and it facilitates that mixing between years um, that is really good at Downing. Um, another thing to say is that there are no hidden fees. So um, what you're paying for, for your accommodation covers, um, you know, bills, Wi-Fi, laundry. Uh, we have four laundries on site. Um, the only thing it doesn't cover is um, a TV license. Um, so all the rooms have pretty similar furnishings. Um, they tend to have lockable cupboards, um, so that's storage space if you, um, when you're moving out uh, each term, uh, if you have a shorter contract, then you can leave stuff in your cupboards and they get locked. Um, same with your kitchen cupboards, um, which is quite useful. Um, and as I've sort of said already, there are shared kitchens, so um, this year I was sharing a kitchen with seven other people, um, but People, some people go to dinner in the dining hall, some people cook for themselves. Um, and cooking for yourself can end up being quite sociable, um, can be a good way of meeting people that um, live on your floor. And we've done things like we had a fajita night and we made pancakes on Trove Tuesday. Um, yeah, so that's accommodation. Um, and that is the end of the tour. And the final uh, sort of message is that we would love for you to come and visit Downing in person once we're open again. <laughs>